For you, Aries, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Um, these two cards right here are about how you, Aries, have a lot of ways. You have a lot of choices around right now. You have a lot of ways and a lot of directions in your life that you want to go. Um, your attention can be scattered. Remember, y'all are the opposite zodiac sign of Libra. So your attention can be scattered, okay? It's not like your attention can't be scattered and you're just, you know, so focused to the point where you can't get distracted no matter what. Uh, because like it is that I said before, you have a lot of good things going for you. Like, like, the money is coming in better. You have way more health, you know? A lot of you Aries don't have to deal with people essentially, you know, stressing you out because we all know how damaging stress can be, how much it can weigh down your body and weigh down your, your psyche. And a lot of you Aries don't have the stress of dealing with somebody that is trying to sabotage you, which is great. Now, there is a downside to that. And the downside is the Nine of Swords. Having so much that you can do at this current point in time to the point where you don't necessarily know where you want to go and having potential partners reach back out to you because things are working out so well. Now, I, I do see that there's some great things that have that has happened to you. Some of some people that you did used to know that you did associate yourself with did try to contact you, some of you Aries, and it didn't work. You told those Aries, no, you didn't want to hang out with them anymore. You didn't want to engage with them. You didn't want to hang out with them. So as a result, um, you, you pretty much dodged that, right? You dodged that problem. And a lot of you Aries really understand that it's about maintaining the power and the position that you have and not letting the ball flop, right? Not fumble it right not drop it um and the thing about it is that the hermit is about how you know and you have to be more careful and yes you know getting into it if, you know if we're talking about it the more money more problems biggie said that right r.i.p rest in peace to to biggie right uh biggie said more money more problems or was one of the first people that i have heard to say more money, more problems. And what it, what he means by that is the more powerful you become is the more of a responsibility you have, right? With great power comes great responsibility. So you Aries have great position, right? But that's when the devil comes for you is when you're at your highest point. Will Smith even said that, right? At the Oscars, the devil comes for you when you are at your highest point. Meaning what? Meaning that now that you Aries have so many great things going on in your life, your health is good, you know, you don't have to deal with individuals constantly trying to stress you out and make you feel like, oh, your chest, oh, I, you know, all of this other stuff. Now you, right, and your finances are good. You're around the people that you want to hang around. Now, like I said, it's about maintaining your focus. Maintaining to not drop that ball, but to, but to ironically become better and how you do that you do that by staying focused get it all dialed in and a lot of you Aries have a lot of different avenues that you can go so around now you Aries want to be very clear as to planning out the next six months to the next two three four five years because then that creates your next couple of steps, right? You don't wanna necessarily think one step ahead. You wanna think at least three. So the thing about it is that the, the devil now is about how, ironically, right? I, I wasn't even paying attention to that like that, but the devil, right? Again, comes for you when you're at your highest point. That's when you have to be the most on your game is when you are on is when things are going well for you because at any moment in time some you you let somebody in that is jealous of you doesn't want you to win you know has some sort of sick problem 
with you excelling because you excelling, you will leave them behind. And they're probably right. Um, they will try to sabotage you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how to how to say it. Right. Because I don't. <laughs> I'm thinking about how to say it because I don't want to get like demonetized and none of that, right? I'm just trying to figure out how to say it in a way that makes sense, but won't get me too caught up in anything. And the page of pentacles now represents how as a result of this, but things are going well for you though. And I would honestly say to, to revert back to the hermit, have the right team around you, have people that have a good head on their shoulders. Have people that 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 will tell it to you straight no matter how much money you have. And then the Four of Wands and the Seven of Swords is about how since that's the case, um, uh, because those people will be the ones there for you, keeping it the realest with you when no matter if the chips are down, no matter when times are bad, no matter when times are amazing and everything is going your way because they're accomplished, they are accomplished in their own right. That's what it is that I'm talking about. When I say that people that look to eat off of another person's plate, right? But then talk about how accomplished they are. They're not actually accomplished. They don't see themselves as accomplished, right? Why? Because people who are accomplished in their own right, they know how accomplished they are. So it doesn't matter how much money a person has. It doesn't matter if the person is a millionaire. It doesn't matter if the person is a vagrant. They can be honest because they're, they're that person's friend. They're in, they are in that person's corner. They're in your corner. So it doesn't really matter whether or not how much money, whether or not you're rich or you're poor, they're going to keep it 100 with you because they legitimately have your back and they have their own. So it's not a matter of they just telling you some stuff to make you to, to kind of put you in a precautious position or maneuver you in a kind of way that will have you fumble the bag. They just trying to have you, you know, have your wits about you. Right. Maintain some level of understanding as to what is going on. Right. Because they're accomplished in their own right. And there's a sense of generosity and accomplishment. They don't feel that jealousy bug, right? They don't feel that 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 envy bug. So they they're not coming from a place of that, you know, those friends and those family, even those romantic interactions, they're not coming from a place of trying to tear you down. They're coming from a place of that they're, they're happy to see you airy succeed. But they'll tell you certain things, specifically your family and your friends will tell you certain things to watch out for the quality of the person or the people that you're dating. Not everybody that you're dating is trustworthy. And you, Aries, have to be aware of this. Because from what I am seeing, I don't see you, Aries, dating as of right now. I see you, Aries, are looking. But I see that there's some really good friends around you and people that are tired of you Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. There's some really good friends. Page of Pentacles around you, right? Seven of Swords that are that are tired of watching you, Aries, go through nonsense with BS people that are not on your level. And all it is that those people want to do is come in, waste your time. They're tired of watching you, Aries, go through this. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords now is about how... So you, Aries, have to understand that when... You're choosing someone when you're interacting with someone, whether it's friends, family, but especially ro romance, because there's a certain level of, you know, there's a certain degree of closeness that's involved that you don't get with family or friends. Pay attention to what's going on around you, Aries. And that if a situation seems too good or if things are going too bad for you, you, Aries, have to be the ones to know that it's time for you to bounce up on out of here. So let's clarify some of these cards. To clarify, matter of fact, let me tell you what I'm clarifying. Let's clarify the Hermit. Six of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, right, Ten of Cups. Yeah, get rid of anybody that cannot see 
the bigger picture. Get rid of anybody that's too jealous. Get rid of anybody that is too envious. Jealous and envy has have absolutely no place anywhere in any faction or society at all ever. Because how is somebody going to lay down with you and be jealous of you and dislike you and want to move you up on out of the way at the same time? I don't know. But you have some sick individuals who think that that type of stuff makes sense. That's my dog down there. So the two of pentacles and a ten of cups now is about. So be with people, right, that actually have your best interest in mind as you're dating. them. And usually it's quite ironic because... People who, who try to waste your time or try to take something from you, it doesn't take very long for these people to show you that they're only trying to take something from you because they're impatient, number one, and they're too greedy. So they will try to get as much as they possibly can way too fast, which will alarm you. But it's usually the people that have some form of decency and value to them, excuse me, that you, Aries, will realize that it may take a couple of seconds or a couple of It'll take a minute for you Aries to actually get to know these people. So you Aries are very much so on a very good track. It's just that you just have to watch yourselves. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups. The Devil. The Devil is a very prominent character in this one. The Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Yes, because the King of Cups and the Devil represents, make sure that you are the one that stays above the nonsense. If, if things seem to be devolving into a argument fest way too fast between yourself and people, because they always want to act like they don't understand what you're talking about. They don't understand why you're so upset. And just everything devolves into a situation for you where it just seems like everything is, is just too argumentative. You, Aries, may want to stay above that, right? Just generally stay above the bickering and the arguing. A person should not want to be bickering and arguing with you at a time where it's a celebration, right? As what Dave Chappelle would say. So the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles now, and make sure to make healthy boundaries. When people that you are getting to know specifically that are asking of certain things from you and you are not comfortable or they are stepping over a boundary, you have to let them know that that is a boundary that they are coming dangerous, dangerously close to or they are, are attempting to step over and that they have to respect it. Otherwise, you don't even have to tell them that. Just tell them that they have to respect it. If they do not respect it, then it means that it's time for you to leave because they're showing you that they do not respect your personal boundaries. And those boundaries are put there for a reason. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, appreciate you. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subs. We finally made it to 9,500. We're so close. We have 9,500 and change. We're literally less than 500 subscribers uh, away from 10,000. I just want to say thank you. I never thought that I would actually make it back to this part. And you know the hackers is out trying to get me to give up their YouTube channel uh, to them, but it ain't going to work. I'm going to continue to push this channel. I'm going to continue to continue. I'm going to continue to give out these readings as best as I possibly could. I'm going to continue to become better at doing tarot so that I can give y'all better in-depth in, you know, more detail reading. It's almost like you, it's almost like you're there. It's almost like I'm there. It's almost like we're there together. All right. Some of you not like that for some of you potentially like that, but you know what I'm talking about. Other than that, <laughs> I'm just joking. But other than that, thank you. I appreciate it.